Multimedia Acción Empresarial presenta Gerencia para Todos con Rafael Nieves. Bienvenidos al programa Gerencia para Todos. Estamos en esta oportunidad conversando con los expertos eh, visitantes al Centro de Arbitraje de la Cámara de Comercio de Caracas que está realizando un evento de calidad mundial. En esta oportunidad vamos a hablar con el doctor James Bredow, quien es eh, miembro de la Cámara de Arbitraje Alemana, German Institution of Arbitration. Welcome to Venezuela. Thank you very much. And the first question is, what are the main advantages of the arbitration? I think the main advantage is the speed of an arbitration compared to a state court proceeding. It's the uh, possibility for the parties to select specialized judges, arbitrators for the special problem they have and uh, normally because it's a quicker proceeding, it's a cheaper proceeding. Excellent. And why the global business community are favoring the alternative dispute resolution method? I think if you take the international business, uh, there's another uh, very big advantage. You can, if you go to the state court, you have only this, cannot can only have the state court of one country. So if you have a um, contract between a Venezuela company and a German company, you have the choice to go to a German court or to a Venezuela court. And perhaps the Venezuela party does not feel comfortable with the German court and vice versa. But if you have arbitration, you can have a really international body to uh, resolve your dispute. And therefore, the international business is looking for an international method to solve disputes and that's arbitration. According to your experience, what, what expectation have the users from arbitration process? They have the expectation to become a speedy, fair and business oriented decision on the basis of the law the parties agreed on and uh, so that they can continue their business relations and the problem they had is resolved and no longer in the middle of their relationships. How the German institution of arbitration helped to strengthen the arbitration community in Germany and in all the world? I think the main issue is that we are uh, offering our administration services and offering our arbitration rules. Our arbitration rules are oriented on the, based on the ANSI trial model law, on the ANSI trial arbitration rules. It's a worldwide accepted system and we are offering these rules, these rules and we are administering this and so it's easy for the parties to, to uh, conduct an arbitration in Germany or, or over the world. Uh, under our rules and the specific help we are offering is that we always, uh, when the parties meet up for appointing an arbitrator, finding an arbitrator, finding an arbitrator which the language skills the parties need and so on, then we can help. And we are quite experienced in the business, so they, I think I can say they, they help, the help they need if they are proceeding and how do we keep the arbitration services at pace with the uh, development of information technology? I think it's a question of the parties and the arbitrators and uh, a lot of arbitrations, most of the arbitrations, use the email transportation which is quick and safe and uh, sometimes they are using video conferences and uh, of course they use uh, PowerPoint presentations and so on and uh, 
so. I think it's the normal development of the business world. A tool like video conference, this kind of tools is useful to the meditation process too. It can be helpful, not it cannot be instead of the uh, oral hearing, but it can help in the preparation of the hearing. It can make it super flowers dress meetings in between the hearings and so it's helpful yes it cannot be done everything by video conferences but it can be really helpful and which are the main challenges for the development of international arbitration well, it's a good question <laughs> i think one of the big challenges is that the arbitration world has to be aware that sometimes some developments uh, bring it with them that the speed is a little bit away, that the, the parties uh, write too long uh, admissions and so if you have 1000 pages you have to read it, you have to understand it and then you cannot speed it. So I think the, the problem is that everybody who is participating in the arbitration process, that is the parties, that are the parties and the arbitrators and the organization, organizations, uh, find back to some discipline and have in mind that everybody wants to be, uh, wants to have a quick proceeding.